Greetings, Earth Angelics. Start this off at day four. We got a little friend on us here crawling on my mala. Let's see if we can get her. Looks like a little mayfly. Here we go. There we go. How y'all doing today? I believe this is day four. My quest, vision quest journey to the my sacred condor, the queen. Here I am at Lake Washita. Now the locals, I've heard two different ways they pronounce this area. Washita and Washita, Washita, tomato, tomato, right? But I feel into it and I say, Washita, Washita, Washita. It's spelled O A or O U A C H I T A, something like that. The O U is like a Wa, like Washington. But this is the second powerful portal there's geodes and crystals sticking out of the ground all over here this is a powerful vortex I've been receiving downloads activations crown activations all night and this morning in meditation Oops. I want you all to take in the energy of this beautiful place this is Washita Lake behind me, a beautiful lake. Let's scan the area here. Really feel the energy. This beautiful vortex. There's my stallion over there, my chariot, my Dodge Ram, chariot carrying me to my sacred queen. So, here we go. <laughs> so last night in meditation, oh, here we go, a little ADD kicking in here. Found a little friend in us. Oh, don't know if you saw him, little damselfly. We have many wing nation come to visit us. But last night in meditation under the beautiful stars, star nation with us, and I connect with the our crystal people, our inner earth people, the Agarthans and Telosians, and they're with us on this great journey, this great mission of ascension. I want to talk about one quick synchronicity and then I'm going to end this. I'm going to head to another portal here. You can really feel the energy of these, the crystalline structure, the 144 crystalline code being activated through, I'm coming up through my feet. Transmit that energy to all of you. So I journey to my next 
portal, then I head west to Arizona. The next will be, I think it's called Crater of Diamonds. Crater of Diamonds. I was through Ida Mountain, then Magnet Cove, the Washita here. I had to go to three portals here. This beautiful root system. A whole great tree. Up run the trees. A whole dock wheel sitting. It's a beautiful country. Popping up all over here. Geodes and crystals and many of our rock nations. So I journey to Crater of Diamonds and head west. Here we got a hole. Lot of beauty here in Arkansas. This powerful portal vortex connected with the Atlantean and Lemurian energies. Goddess energy rising up. Divine masculine, divine feminine. So one synchronicity. I'm sure, I'll have many stories to tell. Angel here. So one synchronicity along my journey as I was traveling through Kentucky, outside Louisville, I turned the radio on and I rarely ever listen to the radio. I prefer the silence or the sounds of nature. But the song came on and it was something like, thunder, feel the thunder, thunder and the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. It's the only time I ever heard this song. So as I'm, as he says, thunder, I drive by this mile marker. It was 99. And those that follow this channel probably heard me talk about in the Mongolian shamanism. There we say 99 tengri, T-E-N-G-R-I, that connect the shaman or the seer to source. And the most powerful sky beings or the thunder beings so the song kept thunder feel the thunder and then the song ended and it said this song is by imagine dragons now imagine that because the dragons of course are part of our sky nation the sky beings then we think imagine people that want to connect to our higher dimensional tribe, nations, star, it doesn't matter if it's star nations, dragons, sky beings, we use our pure imagination, that's how we can connect, just imagine whatever dragon means to you, or whatever the scar being, you could look at a picture and use your pure imagination to conjure up whatever feeling, and then let the feeling connect you to these higher beings and just go, let the feeling carry you to that connection. So a great spirit's been guiding me this whole way, just going with the flow and as things come up, go with it. This is one of my greatest adventures of this lifetime final mission so I hope to the next couple days put out a full transmission I'm heading to crater of diamonds first to anchor and code and frequency energy of the eagle and condor and the abundance codes the love codes the divine union codes there we go feel this being this ancient ancient being
so much beauty in this world. So I'm transmitting the ego condor codes and energy to everyone I come in contact along this journey. I've had many beautiful connections with our earth angelics along the way. I just want to show you all everything. <laughs> so much beauty here. Look at this. The soils. It's orange. Take a deep breath and breathe in the prana. The air is so fresh and clean here and clear. This is Washita uh, National Forest in the middle of this beautiful, beautiful lake. So part of the divine union codes are also in activations are the abundance, abundance and health and love and relationship and wealth, everything. I want to get this for you. So many wing nation here. Let's see if I can get. Yeah. Yes, Angel. This phone's not great at focusing close sometimes. All right. So one last shot of the lake and then I venture on to my next portal. Love you all. Namaste.